Hey guys, Quinton TV here, and welcome to a brand new video where today we are back with some more Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Now, I say Black Ops Cold War to be fair, but I actually mean we're going to be taking a look at the Call of Duty Vanguard multiplayer reveal, which this was actually taking place, I believe, like two or three days ago. I didn't get around to making it because of work, because honestly, uh, I've been entering like my final. Uh, you know, few shifts at work because I am actually moving out on Saturday, which is kind of crazy to think about. But yeah, um, I'm not trying to waste any time in this video. I just want to join, jump in, take a look at the multiplayer reveal, and then I'll probably throw in some more gameplay afterwards uh, and just, you know, kind of like talk over it and see, um, you know, how, what I think of it and, you know, take a look at a few aspects of the trailer and basically just say what I'm looking forward to because I'm pretty sure uh, after this video goes live that I will probably just pre-order the, uh, the game because I really want that early access, you know. And also, I want to get it on day one. So that that's one of the main reasons. But anyway, uh, I'm going to jump over to the face cam section of the video now. And yeah, I'll see you guys there. Hey guys, wait, I've already done my intro. Fuck. <laughs> but yeah, welcome to the face cam segment of this video so if you don't know my room is currently an absolute fucking pigsty and that is because i move out on saturday uh, i think i may have already mentioned this but uh, i'm moving to uni so that's going to be fucking delightful but yeah i'm really excited to uh, start taking a look at this multiplayer trailer because you know i'm, I'm looking forward to it you boys looking forward to it so uh, i think we're gonna put the headphones on now and i swear Every face cam video I ever do, uh, I have a different e sig. So this is my new one. So it's pretty pretty epic. But um, yeah, I have had my hair cut as well. I, I know I look like a fucking uh, I don't know the guy from fucking one of the guys from Home Alone. You know that that was pretty that was pretty epic. But anyway, uh, we are going to uh, do get this sorted now. So let's jump straight into it, boys. Just gonna add it to the project and let's do this. Hey, oh. oh, that is loud. Ooh. Warriors, saboteurs, assassins. Their lives turned upside down by the right. Each one with an axe to grind. And when we turn them loose, you can feel the smoke. Fuck you hell. better believe they're coming out swinging. Hey, well, that's pretty savage. Not gonna lie, that, that was that was pretty pretty epic. Blowing up the fucking car, and oh my god, it is so fucking vivid. One sec. Yeah, it is fucking. Wow, and this is only 60 watts as well. Well, it, you can, it's obviously like a variable thing. But, um, oh, Jesus. Uh, I'm going to try and not do it anymore, okay, guys? Don't worry. I'm going to put you down here where you're not going to, you know, interrupt the recording of the video. Fuck off. That's a BF1 gun. Wow, the Type 100 actually looks good. Ooh. What the hell is that? It's like an RCXD, but World War II style. Is that even historically accurate? I don't know if I care, to be honest. I do quite like the destructible environments. Maybe I'll change my mind about that in a few years, but who knows? Well, in a few months. Oh, the Mosin. Twenty maps. Holy fuck! Is that dope? 
destruction. Ah, oh, modern warfare, global operators. Is that castle? Playing for the back, about fucking time. Hey, oh, this is the battle royale, isn't it? The new Warzone map. Pre-order now and get early access to the open beta. Digital pre-orders get instant access to the Night Raid, Mastercraft, and Black Ops, yeah, Cold War, and Warzone. I don't really care about that, to be honest with you. But, holy fuck. That was something else. I'm actually really looking forward to that. I'm really looking forward to the beta now. Probably going to process my pre-order right, right this second. <laughs> but, um, yeah... The new Warzone map looks really cool. It looks very colourful, which I'm happy about. Um, it's got, you know, like, all sorts of shit. Loads of palm trees. But, uh, yeah, we are going to switch back to Black Ops Cold War gameplay now. Uh, and I'm just going to talk about what I saw and what I'm thinking right now. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing some of the, like, aspects of this game. I want to see all these weapons they've got in. I've seen a few that were in Cold World War 2. Uh, there's 20 maps which is kind of fucking insane, not gonna lie. I think the last Call of Duty game, I think Black Ops Cold War, Cold War Jesus Christ, uh, launched with like, I don't even know, like, I think it was about 11 or 12? And back in the day, they used to launch with like 18 and everyone was like, oh, that's that's a normal amount. But after having like nine launch with World War Two, I think, I think it was, it might be nine or it might be eight, which is fucking ridiculous, but uh, not a lot of maps launched with World War Two. Um I'm trying to think what else. I think Modern Warfare had a decent amount of maps. Not a lot, but it had a decent selection. But twenty I'm looking forward to that shit. I think I've seen Dome in there. Uh I saw another I saw Dome, I know that. I saw Castle from both World of War maps, not Dome from Modern Warfare Three. Uh Dome from World at War. If you're old enough to remember that, I fucking salute you because my god that was a good map. Uh, I hardly ever played World at War because I got it in like 2013, 2014, no it would have been 2014, 2015 actually and I played it quite a bit, I really enjoyed it and when it became backwards compatible um, I was really looking forward to it because I think Black Ops 1 was the first one that became uh, backwards compatible and I spent ages looking for a physical disc of it, couldn't find it uh, but then my brother gave me his so I was very happy with about that. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward, apparently they're remaking some like proper classic uh, World at War maps, which is really cool. Uh, World at War had a lot of very interesting maps in my opinion. Um, hopefully we see a few like, I don't know, maybe Modern Warfare 3 maps. I'd like to see a remake of, uh, you know, the Paris map in Modern Warfare 3. I kind of always forget what it's called, but um, yeah, I ho I'm hoping to see a remake of that because I really, really love the design of that map. Um, just like other maps in general, I want to see like Shipment 1944 maybe come back, because uh, Shipment in Modern Warfare, as many of you guys know, is an absolute shit show for me. I despise Shipment in Modern Warfare, but in World War Two, I quite liked it. Uh, it was still chaotic, but it wasn't like you were killed instantly by some fucking idiot with a, I, I don't know, just sat in a corner and mounted on the wall. But yeah, that could be an issue. Uh, I'm... I'm, I'm gonna wait and see how mounting plays out in this game. I've heard some really good things about the game so far. I know a lot of pros have been really enjoying it. Uh, I have seen gameplay of it. Uh, well, I like, can't wait four seconds of gameplay to be honest with you, but fucking hell. But yeah, I've not seen like a ridiculous amount of gameplay. I've seen a fairly decent amount. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. I'm hopefully going to be streaming the beta. I will be at uni when this is happening though. Uh, so I'll have to, well, actually, I might bring an Ethernet cable because I, I know my room has, like, wired connections as well. So I'm going to try and put my PC up to the wired and maybe leave my Xbox on wireless because my Xbox, you know, uh, Modern Warfare and Black Ops Cold War, they tend to lag quite a bit. I think Modern Warfare is way worse than Black Ops Cold War for connection. But, um, yeah, it, it just isn't exactly ideal. Uh, but I think the internet is actually meant to be a lot better. I think ours here is about 40 
and in my room it's about 100 so that sh that should be a noticeable difference but uh, yeah i'm bringing all of my setup to uni uh, i need all of it basically to make videos i'm bringing the mic i'm bringing my uh, capture card that's kind of essential and i'm gonna probably bring my powered usb port because i have no idea how many usbs i'll need um just all my games etc etc all that good stuff uh, and then i might just take my xbox and take my games home uh, whenever i come back back for christmas and that that's kind of brought up a whole new conversation because i was going to do uh daily vlogs around christmas time i am gonna kind of use this as like a discussion part of the video but um yeah i was gonna do daily vlogs but i only get back on the 17th so i don't know if i start it on the 17th and then go to like new year instead and maybe do like the 12 well maybe even do just the 12 days of christmas in general but i'm not sure you're gonna have to consult me further the time i'm probably gonna do a video over on the second channel talking about it so make sure you guys are subscribed over there but anyway uh, i have rambled and on on for enough now but thank you guys so much for watching this video please do leave a like and subscribe make sure you uh, turn on post notifications so you never miss a single video or alternatively you can join the discord server as a link down below but anyway this has been quinton tv and I'll see you all in the next one. Man, I'm fucking excited for this game.